In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a whitelist to your Minecraft server and make it private. Now for this video, I'm going to be working with the regular localhost server. However, you could do the same thing if you're using a server hosting provider. Obviously, the UI is going to look slightly different, but the main principle still stands. So, okay, let's go ahead and open up our server folder right over here. And typically, whenever you host a localhost server, you're going to have a bunch of folders that look like this. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and run your server at least once. And once you're done with that, please go ahead and close your server so we can go ahead and begin. So you'll notice that we will get a bunch of folders that look like this. And you want to go ahead and actually open up the server.properties file just like so. So you want to go ahead and right click on it, then press on open with. Then you guys can open it with like Notepad or Visual Studio Code, whichever one does work for you. I'm just going to be using Notepad for simplicity purposes. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down until you see this option that says whitelist. And by default, it is going to be set to false, but you wanna go ahead and delete the false and replace that with true. Then you wanna go ahead and press on file and then save just like so. Then you can go ahead and close out of server.properties just like that. And now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and double click on your server.jar file right over here like you normally would. And that is basically gonna start your server one more time. Now, even though there's a file over here that says whitelist.json, we actually don't need to do anything to that. So we're gonna go ahead and actually work with the server console over here. And here's how it does look like. All right, so once you're in your server console, here's what you need to do. You need to go ahead and type in whitelist and then add a space and then add and then a space and then type in the username that you're trying to whitelist. So this could be your friend's username, your own username. So I'm just going to be adding FryBrightMC, for example. Just go ahead and tap on that just like so. And then as you're able to tell, it is now going to say added FryBrightMC to the whitelist. And you can go ahead and repeat this process for your other friends. So if you guys found this video helpful, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting, where they offer affordable and high quality Minecraft server. With Simple Game Hosting, you're easily able to make your server whitelisted. You're also able to make other customizations like mods, mod packs, plugins, etc. They have dozens of video tutorials showing you how to do everything and 24-7 live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. And with a Simple Game Hosting server, just setting up things is significantly easier. You don't need to do all this like file manipulation and stuff like that. They make everything as simple as possible. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment.